Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that find the solution of the given system of equations. And the equations are y is equal to log x plus 1 to the base 2 and y is equal to 5 minus log x minus 3 to the base 2. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now we are given this system of equations. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now this is of the form y is equal to f of x and y is equal to g of x. Now the solution of this system of equations will be given by the equation f of x is equal to g of x. Now this is f of x and this is g of x. Since the solution of this system of equations is given by f of x is equal to g of x, so we have log x plus 1 to the base 2 is equal to 5 minus log x minus 3 to the base 2. Now bringing log terms together, this implies log x plus 1 to the base 2 plus log x minus 3 to the base 2 is equal to 5. Now, by using the property of logarithms, we know that log m to the base b plus log n to the base b is equal to log mn to the base b. So, using this property, we have log x plus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole and this complete whole to the base 2 is equal to 5. Now by definition of log, we have y is equal to log x to the base b if and only if x is equal to b raised to power y. So here we have x plus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole is equal to 2 raised to power 5 and this implies x square plus x minus 3x minus 3 is equal to 2 raised to power 5. Now this implies x square now plus x minus 3x is minus 2x minus 3 is equal to now 2 raised to power 5 is 32 which further implies x square minus 2x minus 3 minus 32 is equal to 0 and this gives x square minus 2x minus 35 is equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation in x so we will solve this by factorization. Now by splitting the middle term this implies x square minus 7x plus 5x minus 35 is equal to 0. Now this implies, now from these two terms, taking x common, it will be x into x minus 7 the whole. And from these two terms, taking 5 common, it will be plus 5 into x minus 7 the whole is equal to 0. This implies x minus 7 the whole into x plus 5 the whole is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to 7 and x is equal to minus 5. Now for x is equal to minus 5 the values of y in both the functions is not defined because log of negative numbers does not exist so we will start x is equal to minus 5. Now we are left with only x is equal to 7. Now let us find 
corresponding values of y for x is equal to 7. First of all, let us put x is equal to 7 in equation 1. So we have y is equal to log 7 plus 1 to the base 2. This implies y is equal to log 8 to the base 2. Now again, by using definition of log, we have 2 raised to power y is equal to 8. This implies 2 raised to power y is equal to, now 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3. So this implies y is equal to 3 because base is same. So we can equate the powers. Therefore, for x is equal to 7, we get y is equal to 3. So the solution of the given system of equations is ordered pair 3, 7, and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.